Hey there, I'm Garth. I'm the animation tutor. I create a whole bunch of courses and mentorships that are specifically built for students to build their portfolio to get into their top choice animation schools. I've been helping young artists become animators for over 10 years now, and I've gotten over 100 students into colleges like Sheridan, Seneca, Capilano, RISD, SVA, CalArts, Gobelin, and the Animation Workshop in Denmark. I've taught students from all around the globe get into these incredible animation schools. And honestly, it's never hard to get students excited about animation because it's such an incredible medium. So check out my website to see all the courses and mentorships that I offer or book a meeting with me and I can kind of go through all the different learning resources that we have with you. Thanks for listening and enjoy the student interview. Hey G, how are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. <laughs> so how does it feel? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very like, I'm very surprised, but like, I'm very grateful. And I'm also like, kind of scared. And also it's just, <laughs> it's a lot of feelings now that it's starting to feel real. Yeah. But mostly good. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's so great. So you've you've applied twice now, if I'm correct, or yeah. yeah, okay, that's not too bad. And so you took uh, you took a gap year, right, after you finished high school to kind of build up your portfolio, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So how did how did it feel? How, describe the moment that you found out that you were accepted. Um, I actually, I so I was in the shared and hopefuls Discord, and people had been talking about it all like they were talking because we were expecting results the day before i think people were theorizing okay uh or i think it was that uh that friday they were expecting it or something like that sure. but they were i saw them all talking about it and i was like oh my god the results came out and yeah i immediately like told my folks because i was too scared to look at it myself <laughs> <laughs> and I had told them and mom was like, bring your laptop down. Oh my God, we'll, we'll open it together. Then like, I'll open it for you. Uh, so I, I opened it down there with them. Uh, and my mom like, didn't know what firm offer meant. So I knew before them and I was like, oh my God, I got in. Like, I was just like in shock. Like I thought I was going to throw up. I thought, I thought I was dreaming. Like I, it did not feel real at all. But I had to explain to her that I got in and like convince her that that's real that I got in. And she was, <laughs> and then when she figured it out, she was super excited. So yeah, oh, that's great. Um, I love that throw up was nearly involved in this story. You have the, yeah. the probably the best the best description of what happened so far of what I've heard from students. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> so uh, I have your I have your work here. So let's let's have a look. So looks like you got. 90% the domestic cutoff was what was it 88 89 something like um, that I saw I have a few people uh, I have a few people I've talked to that got in that got in with an 87 but with like a high okay. GPA I think okay. but I think generally it was like 88 yeah around that okay wow still I mean it's, it went down a little bit from last year but still <laughs> just like ludicrously high so uh yeah. wow this is great um and I have to say like you've You've got like a few little marks off. Oh, well, short animation. Okay. That was a big, big one. But yeah, um, but your storyboard mark. Awesome. I'm I'm very proud of that. That, <laughs> I, that was unexpected for me, but I was very yeah. happy that I oh, managed to get that high. <laughs> that's, a, that's like everyone's scariest mark. <laughs> there are sure. some storyboards that I thought were pretty good that got like 50%. And I'm like, wow, okay. This is just so, so arbitrary. Uh, but, uh, but here you are 18. That's amazing. Um, and then just the odd little mark here and there. So, okay. Well, man, you must be super proud. Um, so let's just go through them. And if you have anything you want to add about any of them in particular, then, then go for it. All uh, right. So we'll just start it, start it live drawing. Nice. Great. Did you have some local sessions to go to or, or were you using the the vast online web you can say this now because you already got. i it. was gonna say like i mean now <laughs> i can say this but yeah i used i i don't have anything around here yeah at all like even even up in the city nearest it's like there's not a whole lot so sure i uh, used online stuff uh, yeah. for everything so many students around the world uh don't have anything even remotely close by like and especially in like Thailand, Sri Lanka, like places like that. There's, there's nothing, there's no life drawing, no school, nothing. So yeah. yeah, you have to. So I, yeah, it's a bit, a little bit unreasonable to expect it these days as rare as life drawing is. Yeah. Awesome. So how, how did you do in the skin? You got, uh, 
not nine or I, I got 10 I got even 10 10 for the figure 10 which is the amazing most surprising for that's me wonderful I was very super I was very worried about my life drawing because I did I did not do well last year okay and what did you get last year uh I think it was well it was it was okay I think I got like seven okay seven out of ten or okay I can't remember just not like Sheridan good but definitely yes good exactly but as far as the best populace goes And I, I wasn't too proud of them either. My my portfolio last year was so rushed. I submitted okay it like a couple hours late because I forgot okay what day I was supposed oh to submit. wow So shoot yeah, that must have it been was very some anxiety rushed. nice well fantastic uh that's great so let's see your your hands nice great Yeah, these ones were nine out of ten. Um, yeah I think the line work isn't great. hmm Uh, it's very like you you can see where I've erased a lot too. sure Uh, And I think the proportions on the fingers at the first pose is a little weak. I hmm feel like they might be a little, they, they've always felt a little small to me, but I don't know. okay well I don't know this one looks actually okay to me but um yeah who knows that the difference between a 9 out of 10 and a 10 out of 10 sometimes are very very subtle and like very very tricky like for me to even pick out I I look at a lot and I don't know there's a certain subjective point where it's just yeah it's a little tricky to tell but yeah I can okay maybe in some areas there's the line work is slightly rougher but overall not too bad oh that's jumping ahead uh character design here it is nice <laughs> cool Yeah, I was not expecting to get full marks on it, honestly. yeah <laughs> but it, it's it's good though. I, I was happy with it. yeah that's great i like the like you you exaggerate certain proportions you made her arms a little small uh, and her neck very long and then tiny little head on top she reminds me a little bit of michelle williams actually i don't know if you know that actress but she just reminds me a tiny bit of her um nice clothing too in the folds that's that's great nice understructure yeah really nice that's great so full marks wow that's awesome yeah um i wish i pushed the design a little bit more i yeah i definitely could have exaggerated that pose too hmm a short animation oh this is where you lost wow four marks eh wow yeah yeah i i kind of see it i i think it looks like that first motion especially is kind of janky hmm ah i don't you do a little flip in the air there where it turns quickly um it looks like it's it's jumping and it's facing one direction then it kind of quickly turns and lands maybe Yeah. it's hard to tell but um I don't mind the squashes and stretches though I'd have to look a little closer but um I guess yeah you know you could use a little more anticipation at the beginning um maybe even one more frame of like of of landing in the in the first after the Mm first -hmm. Yeah. jump but um Yeah, the antenna stops really abruptly. yeah <laughs> just realize you have a little walkie-talkie in the book <laughs> it's pretty funny <laughs> awesome well yeah I, don't, I still think that's a bit overly harsh to be honest but you know, who knows let's see the 18 out of 20 here um okay so the fox sees the other animals get some log and oh wow holy That is that is very resourceful, <laughs> very fun. I love the uh, the creativity of it, of like the 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 spider web. I, at first, I was I was looking at that second panel. I'm like, what is a spider web going to have to do with this? But then, uh, and then the third panel, we see it again, and it's like, okay, there's going to be something here. And then, wow, what a what a payoff there. That's super fun. This feels like it was directed by Wes Anderson or something. <laughs> Fantastic Mr. Fox, maybe, actually. Yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> really fun. Yeah, I was really happy with the idea. Yeah. I thought that was fun. Great. I guess you kind of, you had more of like a long shot, long shot, medium. Sh well, I guess it's sort of as a close up, but it's, you get the waist in there a little bit too. So it feels more medium Mm. shoddy, but yeah, well, that's great. Awesome. um and oh the layouts of course are next so how did you do on that again it was uh Uh, nine or I think it was 14 out of 15 okay yeah this great part I was sad I was a little sad about because I got full marks last year and wow my layouts were definitely stronger this year but yeah I think it's just um they were extraordinarily harsh this year i found like if you got if you got 90 percent this year i feel like you would have gotten like 97 percent last year because they they seemed like they were marking Very, very harsh. I'm guessing to try and bring the averages down because they realize that 
if students see that it's like a 95 average needed, then no one's going to bother. That's like an impossible request. This, this is true. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Um, well, my dog is maybe in the mic, but um, I love the details of the furniture and everything. Thank you. Um, yeah, I pulled back a lot of details on this one because there was initially like way too much. Mm. Um, but it's great. Uh, a great story too. Like, wow, yeah. is it ever clear or what? This is like, this is great. Do you really like Leo G? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've had a lot of people ask me that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That seems like this could be your your specialty. Oh wow, fun. Yeah, the indoor in particular took me 20 hours. So that yeah. was the that was what I spent the longest on, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Sure. Um, besides the hours of figure drawing, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess the one mark I could potentially see in this one is just the slightly like this is clearly a big, beautiful forest, mm -hmm. but the background, these, these parts, wait, is it, this is a cloud maybe like a low cloud? Is that um, it's idea? supposed to be like a distant tree line. Past... Oh, a distant tree line. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Like it could, it could be that, or it could be like almost like sky beyond. And if it's mm -hmm. like Howl's Moving Castle or something where there's like up in the sky, then there could be a low cloud or something. But mm. yeah, I guess that's but it's true that like willow trees and clouds sometimes that texture can be very rendered similarly so mm -hmm. yeah tree line um i might have done a little more to like to make those trees super clear that they are trees versus yeah like, something else because it's almost like evenly patterned and that can sometimes trick our eyes to being like wait what is that thing mm -hmm. um i love the building though i love this like epic tree i love how you're playing with scale and making that tree like larger than life um that's super fun just the whimsy of it is is great and the size of the trees are just amazing um yeah and you've got that foreground middle ground background yeah i don't know these are these are wonderful really great layouts thank you yeah okay let's see your personals over here um this is sketchbook maybe oh it's a little story that's great I always like seeing like the actual uh, written, like here's who my characters are. Mm -hmm. I think this full screen here. Nice. Okay. If you had more time, you could have like totally. Well, I mean, it's great. This is great as it is, but yeah, you could you could fully render it. I guess like like one of yeah. your, your backgrounds, but this is really nice. Cool character lineups. Oh, in different like colors. Okay. Oh, nice. And some color scripts up there. I love color scripts. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty fun. Like, yeah. That's great. Oh, this is super fun. Yeah, I did the I did the sketches for these um actually last year. I went with my sisters to their uh their like championship cup uh thing nice. and they're just there's so many really interesting characters there so oh yeah this is great i love that it's just hockey people <laughs> yeah <laughs> just like general... i couldn't think of anything honestly it's <laughs> sure. like oh, they're hockey people yeah <laughs> just people at hockey games yeah that's awesome great variety of shape too i can tell where you were trying to like push push the exaggeration in the shapes more mm -hmm. and i think that's a great idea because they want they want that like you have this occasional like big knee, big hip, uh, it's a big upper body kind of like it's a great mixture of different shapes here. Thank you. The nice. one on the right is literally just my sister though. Most oh. of them are kind of like mixes and matches of different people. The okay. one on the right, that's that's pretty much exactly how I see my sister. <laughs> nice. That's great. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. One independent kind of digital painting piece. Awesome. Yeah, this isn't the one that I probably would have replaced if I was doing it over. Sure. Um, it's just not rendered super well, but yeah. I just thought it was cool. Yeah, nice, know, nice atmosphere though. Like, mm -hmm. even though yes, the rendering sure, but most so much of it is there. Like, <laughs> I know that of course you could tighten up certain areas and you can see the brush strokes, but uh, some some did some concept art they really like seeing the brush strokes. I really like the light coming in from the window. That's really nice. These girls have a slight uh, shining vibe with their similar similar appearance yeah. but <laughs> oh cool this is fun 
Yeah, I was actually on a project for a little bit for like a, an indie um, TV show Oh, oh amazing. that they were working on. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I like the little slide at the bottom to kind of confirm that. It's really nice. Little objects from it. Nice. Great. I noticed lots of layouts or or just general scenes in your in your personal work, which makes makes a lot of sense. Uh, and then okay, you've got this too. Oh yeah, story uh, sketchbook that makes sense. Great people and environments. Little kind of color. These, these look very. They must have been very small, but they're just blown up. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, they're really small. <laughs> Um, it's yeah. a very small sketchbook, but also Okay. they bleed a lot, so it looks Yeah. very like grainy and yeah. Mm Sure. -hmm. Oh, nice. Great. Oh, nice, nice variety of different things. Some little small situations and okay. And then you put some other. Nice. Great. Okay. Awesome. Good diversity. Some observational, some objects, some buildings, and then some of your own imaginative stuff. That's great. It's a good mixture. Oh, cool. Wow. Neat. Just a quick little animation. Fun. Yeah, I like the idea of the character coming out of the frame. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Awesome, G. So this is, that's great. So great, great portfolio this year. Uh, again, last year would have got even higher because they're just super harsh. Um, <laughs> so I've got my four questions here. So if you could do the whole thing again, uh, what would you do differently? Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of little things, but the main ones is probably being able to spend more time with the personals being rendered out. But I think I lost points with the personals because I didn't have a lot of medium variation. There was only one thing Yeah. Okay. in there that was, uh, traditional, which is the sketchbook stuff. The rest of it Sure. was digital. Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of people, including 3D stuff. Uh, Yeah. I haven't seen a whole lot of. high ranking personal work with no 3D at all. Hmm. So I'm not too I sure. actually have, but um but yeah, 3D, I mean If the 3D is good, I mean, it's like anything. I, I wouldn't just throw 3D in there just to be like, hey, look, I've done it. But um, if, it, if it's done well and if it's exploring something relevant to animation, then absolutely, I'm sure it, I'm sure it helps. But um, I, I do, but to be honest, most portfolio work I see doesn't have any 3D work, 3D work and often full marks. So I don't know. I think you were probably close, to be honest. I mean, you obviously were at 14, so Oh, awesome. yeah. And was there some advice that someone gave you that was critical? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I got to, uh, I got to talk to, there's this guy, he does tutoring and like classes and stuff, Gerard, he used to work, uh, he used to work as a professor at Sheridan with like, Oh, cool. I think he did life drawing. Awesome. Um, He's really awesome. His critique's great. He's super blunt with you, which is awesome. He just doesn't, he doesn't take any crap from you, which is Yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I remember I'd asked him like, oh, do you think the cutoff is going to go up again this year? Like in your opinion? And he was like, why? Like, why does it matter? And I was like, well, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I was just kind of curious. And he's like, it, it doesn't matter though. And like, because it doesn't like, if you're focusing on like, Oh, how are they going to market? Like, what are they thinking about? Obviously, you want to know what they're looking for. But like, Yeah. if you get really in your own head about making like something that they're going to like, then you kind of lose a bit of what you want to make, like what makes Wow. your work special, like what. Um... That's incredibly good advice. I love that. Yeah. I love that he Yeah. was just like, why? <laughs> That's a great answer. I Yeah. mean, it, it's Why? true. Like, if you start thinking about that stuff, you can start getting into all these like finagly, like, oh, is it even worth it kind of thing? And it, and what it really is, is like you thinking outside of your immediate projects. And I guess what he wants you to do is keep thinking about your projects. Those are, those are where you're going to make your, the differences in, in Mm whatever mark, because again, a, a lot of this, I, I would never say it's arbitrary, but sometimes I look at marks and I'm like, how did they possibly score it that way? You know, it, -hmm. well because and I see it's so never many just portfolios. one professor marking everything Exactly. too right everybody has Totally. their own opinions and Yeah. You know, somebody might mark it a 10 and somebody else might disagree and think it's an eight, you know, Yeah, and absolutely. that's just how it is. Like, Definitely. And so there's always this slight subject. I mean, it's art. It's not a math. It, it, it's 
or a science rather, like there, there is a degree of subjectivity to this and that's just, and there's no way to avoid that either. That's the thing. There's no, no matter which way you switch out one professor and get another, then you're going to have another subjective somewhat biased view. Right. So it's just like, I just, you, you, there's a certain amount of things you can control, like a good perspective and a background details, that kind of thing. But after that point, you know, there's, there's a degree of like, okay, I hope they like this kind of thing. Um, we always hope they're as, as objective as possible. And I'm sure they absolutely try and be, but at the end of the day, I mean, there's so many different styles to even in life drawing, right? Like some yeah. people approach this, some, you have more soft, wispy kind of volumetric strokes. Some people do it super clean, even their gestures. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm like, you know, you'll see that probably you'll see in some videos like that. And you're like, Oh, maybe I should be cleaner with it. And then you see another video and it's like very rough and they do get the same mark and you're like, Oh no, what do I do? And it, You know, it's this constant like mental game of like, how should I draw? How should I stylize my work to appeal mm -hmm. to kind of like the Sheridan style? But at the end of the day, you need strong work. Strong work is the thing that is the, the yeah. all and end all and the rest is subjective. Right. And a trap that I fell into that he was really addressing. And I, th I find a lot of applicants do, which is why I want to mention it um, for anybody who watches. And mm -hmm. uh, but. And you, I find that you tie, you can tend to tie a lot of your worth as like your art's worth based on how other people mark it, sure. because that's something concrete to measure. Like, yeah. oh, that's how good I am. It's okay. But like, yeah. at the end of the day, it, the most important thing is you being proud of your work and you yeah. seeing the improvement and you feeling good about it. Because wow. like, even though I did get accepted and like, I still feel like oh, but there's so much, you know, to change now. And just like, sure. you're always going to keep raising the bar for yourself. But like, yeah, you, you have to, it's, you can think like being really critical on yourself is good because it helps you learn. And that is true. But mm. if you're too critical and not seeing any good in your art, you're the only person who is in the industry is going to be advocating for your own work. Yeah. You know, you have to be able to say my, I think my work it stands above other people because this yeah. and that and like wow. it, like nobody's gonna advocate you for your work like you are sure and you're never gonna see all the flaws in your work like you absolutely are. you should really hold that with you once you enter the actual industry too mm -hmm. um there are cases i guess for illustrators if you're like in children's book publishing where you could potentially have an agent that would be your advocate but those are those are few and far, far between really in animation yeah your portfolio and yourself is it so um yeah yeah that's really great advice um, do you feel like there's anything in your portfolio that gave you a particular edge up on the competition? This is the hardest question for me. I, <laughs> I find that I'm kind of a, I'm, I mean, everybody kind of has to be, but I, I'm a little bit good at everything. Sure. Um, besides like, I think my only like clear weakness would probably be animation. I have the least experience with it, but sure. I, I think I've got a bit in everything, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. and I, I like doing work that combines everything. Like, I mean, an animated shot like that, it's got, you have the character design, you have the layout and then yeah. you have the animation. Yeah, have, that's like, true. So there's just like, and to be, uh, say like a director, you know, uh, which Sheridan really wants to see like people with that potential to really make it up the ranks. That's true. Um, you have to be good at a little bit of everything, which is why I think they mark you on so many different aspects. They don't want somebody who's just good at one thing, right? Yeah, but, absolutely. Um, but that's kind of all good applicants have that. So I don't think it is mm. super unique to be good at everything. Um, I think I try to put a lot of story into mm. anything I do, yeah. or at least character into what I do. But sure. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. I mean, it is a hard one to answer, especially when you've seen so many portfolios, right? It's like, wow, yeah. everyone's got great pieces. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, totally. Well, um, I would say that like some of the, like I find people that are a little bit earlier on in perspective or or not, they're not as confident. They will draw the bones of things in in the layout but then they won't carry it through to then putting this nice detailing and the nice texture that you've done and the little ornateness here. Mm -hmm. um, obviously there are like offices that are boring and don't have those things, but then my advice would be don't draw that then as your layout, right? Right. <laughs> you chose these things that are like, even just this, like if we just look at that, it's like, wow, the care that you put into thinking of the, the, the geometry of the pillow, 
the little frilly ends. Uh, we can we can imagine what that feels like. The texture implies a little bit what it feels like, and I think that is actually a wonderful thing that you can do with with layout in particular. And also, just the story here is just super solid. Like just so. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine a scene with more story, honestly. So, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, really, really great. I think this one's uh, yeah definitely should have been fifteen out of fifteen. But uh, nonetheless, <laughs> so if you could, uh, with unlimited resources and a staff at your disposal, uh, what would be your the animation production that you would make, G? Oh, I don't know. There's so many, like I've had so many ideas over the years for different productions and like yeah. different, like if I could, you know, what I would do. Sure. Um, I, every year I tend to have different interests and stuff. Currently I'm very interested in like, um, kind of like so survivor horror uh okay. the survivor survival horror genre in terms of like video games and stuff i've always wanted to do a video game project cool um, i just as a medium i like how interactive it is and stuff but yeah uh an animated show about um actually that's what the the portrait is from it's mm. a the witch and the princess it's about like two uh the twin girls and as they grow up and the king dies and all these things are happening and there's it's kind of like a witch burning era and yeah you know, it's basically uh there's still magic and stuff but pretty much any woman that uses magic that isn't seen as like holy magic get like executed for being a witch or whatever so yeah. um there's a there's a whole story to that that, that one i've wanted to develop for a while oh, that's uh, awesome. and also the one with the two characters the other personal work uh with the the workshop and yeah that project oh, yeah. i'd like to do someday but awesome where is that one it's uh oh it's in this one yeah hmm. cool i've just got too many ideas <laughs> yeah <laughs> this one has a steampunky vibe to it at least the, hmm. the office kind of does with that big window yeah awesome well great job g congratulations again uh i'm super psyched that uh we're gonna have a nova scotian at sheridan next year <laughs> oh, i'm super excited for that yeah I, I did try to put a bit of uh I, a lot of my life drawing the sketchbook stuff is like places around here, which is nice. kind of nice. So. That's great. Cool. Well, can't wait to see what you do when you're at Sheridan. And uh, Thank you. yeah, congrats again. Thanks for doing this interview. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. All right. Take care. <laughs>